Hello my friends, it's uh, Wednesday again. Today we're going to revisit a track that I've done earlier, I did it some time ago, about four years ago originally, when I had no viewers whatsoever. So uh, I've decided that those early vids where the volume was a bit quiet and that no one has really uh, had a look at, I would do them again. Download free paperwork. This one is one you will all love and you will all know. I'll play it for you now and then we'll chat in a minute, all right? This is the track. Let's put some drums on it, shall we, with this wonderful little guitar. <laughs> Don't fear the reaper. That's the one we're going to do. So download your paperwork. It's all free. Click the blue link below on the uh, in the description box for those new to the channel. And there's a lot, two and a half thousand this month. Um, for those of you who have not seen this stuff before, this is where you, this is what's unique uh, to the channel. This is where your fingers are going to go. It's idiot proof. I do these things for me, and these are your strings that you're going to play down here and the beats below. I'll explain as we go along, all right? So the first thing you've got to do is um, download this stuff. That's the most important thing. Second most important thing is to press the like thing, the thumb icon, because it really helps the channel. Um, and subscribe if you've not subscribed. And remember, everything on, my, everything on the channel, all the paperwork is mine, it belongs to me, and you have my permission to share it to whoever you like, all right? So, Let's look at this in a bit more detail. It's a great riff. I mean, without this particular riff, Don't Fear the Reaper by the band Blue Oyster Cult. Now, most of you people in America will have watched Saturday Night Live and one of their most famous sketches was the More Cowbell sketch, okay? Uh, if you just put More Cowbell into Google, you'll see exactly what I mean. Okay, but it's a beautiful track and it's a great one if you're just learning how to do arpeggios. What are they? Well, arpeggio is not the name of an, an Italian footballer. It's uh, when you're playing a chord, but instead of playing all the strings in one go, you play the strings separately, as I'm going to demonstrate now. Right, the first shape you'll notice is an A minor. Now, these names of the chords, we're playing broken chords, they're half chords, so as such, they will have all sorts of fancy names, and I can't be bothered finding what those fancy names are. All you've got to do is know what what's on here and you'll be perfectly fine all right um, you can always look them up if you want but it's a minor basic chords a minor g f and g that's what your mate would play if it was strumming along an acoustic guitar all right so let's have a look at what we're going to do you'll notice that we're only playing a fragment of a minor okay so you'll put fingers two and three there on your guitar you'll notice that finger one is missing why is that because we're not going to use strings two or one throughout the whole of the song two and one meaning these strings here all right so that's why and you'll notice we're not using two and one on any of the others all right so first thing we're going to do play your a minor and take off that finger done you'll notice if you look below you'll see numbers five four three three and below that you've got arrows two of the arrows are pointing down and two of the arrows are pointing up that's going to indicate which way your plaque is going to run. And it's important that they run, the plaque runs the right way, as I shall demonstrate. So you're on A minor. There's the shape. We take that finger off. We don't need it. And we're going to play down on the five, down on the four, up on the three, because the arrow says up. And then there's another three, and it says open. And every time you play the three, in this track, when you're doing this riff, it will always be open, all right? I'll do that again. And if we were gonna count it, it would be one and two and. And while that is open, you will then take the same two fingers that were here and you will move to your G position. Now we don't need to put a finger down here because we're not playing strings two and one. So all we need is the five and the six. Now if you look below that, you'll see that it says six, five, four, three. And on the three, the arrow is pointing upwards because we always come up on the three. Six, five, four, three. 
on the three, we'll come off, we'll bring our fingers off on the three, we'll go to the next shape, which is a fragment of F. Again, we'll see the picks exactly the same, six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three. On the three, bring your fingers off so you can be moving to the next shape. And then it goes back to G, six, five, four, three. Now, why would I insist that you come up on the three and not down? Well, when you first start playing these things, you know, accuracy is not gonna be your strongest point. And it's quite possible that you're gonna go and you'll go into no man's land, i.e. the strings that we don't wanna hear, the strings that are not covered by fingers on the neck. So if we come up away from those notes, we're fine, aren't we? If we hit some of the ones above it, that's okay, because we've got these fingers on covering it. So let's do that again, okay? Starting on the A minor. Five, four, three, three. On the last three, you come off. Very important, open string, no fingers on. That's your vehicle to move to your next shape. So these two fingers that were here, up to your G. Six, five, four, three. Onto your F, first finger on the bass string at the first fret. Little finger on the fifth string at the third fret. Six, five, four, three. Back to your G. Six, five, four, three. Now, let's just have a close look at these shapes. There's our fragment of A minor. Now, when you're practicing this, I want you to do this. You, do, you can do this while you're watching telly without getting on anyone's nerves. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now that's the correct way to count it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Or if you get lost and you can't remember where you're up to, you could do it in a non-musical way and do this. One, two, three, off. One, two, three, off. One, two, three, off. One, two, three, off. Okay, there's lots of ways of counting it. Doesn't matter as long as you remember what it is. All right, so let's do it again. There's the play. Concentrate on this hand now. And we'll look at this one again in a minute. Starting with the A minor. Five, four, three, off. Six, five, four, off. Six, five, four, off. Six, five, off. Okay, and always remember that the first two notes that you hit will determine how fast the rest of it has to be. If you start off like this, dum dum, that means the track's going to go dum 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 dum. If you get a bit cocky <laughs> and go like this. Dum dum. Then you have to keep it fast. Now, of course, you don't want to go too fast because you've got to get the transition right between one shape and the other. And that's why those open strings are really important. One more time. Let's look at this hand now. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now, that F shape that we play, because we're playing arpeggios, it means that we're striking one string at a time. So whereas you might have difficulty at first putting these two fingers on at the same time, the six there and the five of the third fret, you could sort of do this, can you see? You know, build the shape as the strings are needed all right that's one way of doing it now page one is done that page one is the whole of the song nearly it's there we are it just goes on and on and on but then the chorus let me play it um i'm not going to sing the words because i might get a copyright strike i'll give you an idea da, 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 da. goes into the chorus now we're going to use power chords for this um, why power chords and not full chords 
Well, a full chord, let me give you an idea of what the full chords would be. F, G, and A minor. Now, if we're only going to be playing the... Seasons don't fear the reaper Nor do the sun and the wind and the rain We can be like they are We don't need to play all the strings if we're starting off and we want to play a song. We can always work on the bar chords later. So how do we play this power chord? Well, if you look at page two, you'll see that I've that the shapes that we're gonna play, it's the same shape all the way along. You're just gonna move it up and down the fretboard, which I will explain to you in a minute. Now, I've just put the beats down here. One, da, 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 which I'll go to in a minute. And I've put some lyric at the top so you can follow where you're up to. Okay, so page two, and I'll do it slowly. We've got our first power chord, F. One finger here, a third finger on the fifth string, at the third fret and your little finger underneath now a power chord we can play the powerful notes the thick strings if you like how do we avoid hitting the thin strings that we're not covering Cause don't forget an F should be like this but if we're only playing the bass notes and we're not putting a bar on we're going to do that I'll take this tuner off so you can see okay then it's important that we don't strike the three strings that are out of bounds now we do that by swiping away from the guitar we don't do this otherwise we end up with an unholy commotion and the audience start to leave we don't want that nonsense do we so it, and it block the strings a little bit on this get your hand on the bridge okay like this behind the bridge and nice short okay and we're going to do this one and two and that's f up to the third fret for the g three and four and let's put those two bits together to make one bar one and two and three and four and then we've got a full bar on the a minor or the a because we're not really playing a minor or a major but we'll call it a minor okay one and two and three and four and let's put those bits together one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then we've got back to f again one and two and and then an e minor well it's easy to just take these two fingers and let them sneak down to the second fret rather than change your finger in. no point one and two and there's the f three and four and back to a minor one and two and g three and four and i'll put that together so it's not too fragmented starting with the f one and two and three and four and 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 okay now i'll put a bit of tune to that seasons don't fear the reaper nor do the sun and the wind and the rain we can be like they are. And when it says they are, it goes back to the riff on the F. Okay? Do you get where we're going with this? Let's do it again. F, G, A minor. F, E minor, A minor, G. Pick up the riff. And it says that quite clearly on your, on your, on your paperwork. All right? So when you get to page four, that's where your riff comes back into, into play, all right? You can't go wrong. So I'll play through what's on the sheets of paper with the drums, all right? Now, I'm gonna slow it right down. Great guitar, this. So. There's your main riff. Power chords. Now, you haven't got one of these things on your guitar, but just go onto YouTube and just put, you know, um, I don't know what the beats a minute might be, say 120 beats a minute straight drum loop. 
and one will come up and it'll just sound like this only faster now with one of these of course as you get better What's that? Come on. Sorry, it just reminded me. You got me running, gone. That's it. Sorry, I'm off. I'm gone. I've spun off. You got me running, going out of my mind. Don't bring me down. Sorry, I, I, I just sort of for a moment had a momentary lapse of concentration. That drum reminded me of that. Anyway, where were we? Yes, the uh, with this we can speed it up. assuming you've got a mate and you're showing off playing the riff and your mate says well that's great that but I wish I could join in you could sort of say well you can um, and, and he'll say well, what can I play well he can play the sort of basic chords that go with it now it doesn't have to play a full F on this it, it's, you know, it's one of those songs where you can adapt it a little bit because you know for example he could play A minor or she a G6 so you can play a G6 without putting this finger down here. And then an F major 7th. And those open strings within those chords sort of lend itself to the riff. Let's say you've got another friend who says, well, I can't do F. It's too hard. F major 7th or whatever. I can't do it. You know. And you can say, well, I will calm yourself. There's no need to get excited. We can always play the same chords using a different version because I've watched that uh, Fenner Rob chap and he showed me how to do this. So we want to play it an A minor, but we want to play it with a sequence of chords that avoids an F shape. And you'll say to him, can you play D? And he'll say, well, of course, it's one of the first chords I learned to play. So, okay, so to make an A minor, we'll put a, a capo here, let's say the fifth fret. Don't forget, this is for people who want to play along with you and they might not be as good as you. But, but they can strum along so you'll put a capo at the fifth fret now instead of them instead of playing an a minor shape there where you use three fingers you're going to play like an e minor shape at the fifth fret which at the fifth fret is a minor a d at the fifth fret or d shape is a g A C add nine, which is a nice shape. You remember the C add nine that we did? But play it without the little finger. Is it more of a sort of, you know, airy feel? Don't play the bass string, very important. How do we not play the bass string? We let this finger sit on top of the fifth, thus dampening the bass string. It's important that you don't do play that string. It's not the end of the world if you hit it, but it sounds so much better if you don't. So while he's playing A minor, G, F, G, the shape wise for the other chap will be E minor, D, C add nine, D. Da, 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 da. So one guitar could be playing there. The other rhythm guitarist who may be a little bit better that can handle the F major seven. Da, 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 da. And you, of course, showing off, will be playing the main riff.
All right, so that is Don't Fear the Reaper by the brilliant band Blue Oyster Cult. All right. Now, as I said before, share all this stuff to your chums. It's all free. And I'd like to thank everybody that sends me their little donations to buy my tea and coffee. Very much appreciated. I drink too much of it. I go home shaking. What I say, I go home. I go downstairs. This is my home. Um, you know, I drink that much, my teeth itch. And it's your fault. But thank you for sending that in. Uh, on Saturdays, of course, we do new stuff. All new stuff on Saturday. Most of this on the Wednesdays is going to be new to most of you because, as I said, things like Don't Fear the Reaper. Um, I did this such a long time ago that uh, nearly all my newcomers have never seen it before. So I'm going to be revisiting some of those tracks that I think you should know and maybe haven't, um, haven't had a chance to look at or you can't find them within all the, the rest of the vids. Okay, so on that note, I shall love you and leave you. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Please share everything you can and please press that like button because it really does help the channel. My son, who's a writer, he's got, I've got 34,000 subscribers and I'm pleased with that. He's got 304,000 subscribers. So I've got some way to catch up with him. And with your help, I'd just like to be able to go around and you know, tell him that I'm getting a little bit closer. All right, I'll leave that to you. Right, see you next time. See you on Saturday with something else. Don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but it's gonna be good. Take care. Bye-bye.